Hey guys, it's Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy, and today we're stepping away from the bodywork on Dale, and we're working on a little bit of a special project, so stay tuned. Now, have you ever noticed a square body truck and the hood looked like it was popped on the sides like this? You'll see that the hood is actually completely latched in the front, but as you come up the side, it lifts right here in the middle. Now if we come over to the driver's side, it doesn't do that. But the reason why it does it is because this hinge where it mounts to the hood gets stiff over time and if you're not looking after keeping it lubed up so that it works properly, the hood will start to kink right here where that bracket ends and in turn causing it to warp right here where you pull down on it from the front. So as I pull, you can almost see that hood bend. Well, we've got a product from LMC Truck that's gonna help fix this so that it doesn't happen anymore. Let's take a look. So this is LMC's hood hinge kit. And what it's gonna do for us is it's reinforced stamped metal that is going to attach to this forward hinge bolt here. And then you're gonna to attach to the rest of the hood the whole way up. And that's gonna give some reinforcement to the hood so that it's not going to bend or kink when you try and close it. It's a very simple kit. You remove the hinge bolt and it comes with the supplied screws. Just bolt it on, screw it in place and you're done. It's going to be a very quick video to show you how quickly these things go on. So let's get started. So before we do get going too far on this, I want to let you guys know this is not a sponsored video. I did have to buy this bracket kit myself. It wasn't very expensive. I believe it was something like $10. Uh, from LMC truck. So one of the first things that we've got to do with the hood is we've got to try and get rid of this little kink right here. Now the metal is split, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, short piece of two by four and with a hammer and we're going to try and beat that in just a little bit there. We're hoping that will push the metal back in a little bit enough to give it some strength and once we get the truck back to the shop we will actually uh, put a spot of weld on there to help seal up that crack. Another place that I noticed was cracked was right in here. This is a weak spot as well. And if we come across to this side, you'll see right there there's a split in the metal as well. And that's what the stress from pulling on this hinge when it is stiff without having it oiled up will do to your hoods. So let's grab the hammer and the 2x4 and we'll see if we can't beat this into submission. I don't think I'm going to go any further with that. I don't want to jeopardize splitting that any further than it already is. So I think what we're going to do is we'll just put the kit on for now and uh, in hopes that it will help stiffen that up so it doesn't bend any further. So let's get that on there. So first thing we do is we're going to get this 9 16 bolt out of here and uh, we'll loosen up the back one as well so we can slide that piece of bracket in place. good things about this is you're going to be able to see the hole and you'll know where the mounting point is because your bolt has left an impression and we know based on this one back here that that whole setup has got to come forward right about there. Now this bracket comes right in line with that uh, part right there and then once we get it to where we want it, just like so, then we're going to be able to take and drill our pilot holes, which are 11 64 drill bit, through here and then screw in the provided screws. Now you don't want to go all the way through because your hood is on the other side. Once you get those screws in there, then we can tighten up our 916 bolt on the hinge. Now.
Now we'll just go over and do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll test the hood. So now that we've got those reinforcement brackets on there, let's see how much easier the hood closes now. As it sits right now, I am somewhat comfortable knowing that those hinge reinforcement brackets are on there. Now, the hood is still up on this side, but keep in mind, there are a couple of cracks in the metal at those stress points that we're gonna have to reinforce before we can fully rely on those brackets. Now, those brackets are only meant to be a precautionary, not a complete fix. So, as it sits right now, we'll still have to be a little bit careful but we will come back to this and we will get those uh, stress points welded up and give them some reinforcement there. So if you have yourself a 73 to 87 square body GM pickup, then these brackets are a precautionary measure to make sure that they do not stress crack, not a fix for the stress crack. So let's keep that in mind. If they're already cracked, you're probably out of luck unless you can you know, weld them up and fix them up that way. So we will get that done and I will leave a link below to LMC's page for those brackets. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will notice that I have been posting new Dale tees. If you want your very own Dale the truck t-shirt, well, you can get them at my Spreadshirt store, which is the first link in the description box down below. And any proceeds from those t-shirt sales or any other t-shirt sales, similar to the one that I'm wearing right now, will go towards making this truck more to what you guys want to see uh, and help me build the truck that I want to build. So we are on a limited budget with this thing, but uh, with some t-shirt sales and uh, stuff, stuff like that, uh, you can go to my Patreon. I have a Patreon account, and if you want to be a Patreon member, you will get some exclusive videos as well as some free stuff every once in a while when I make posts on that. So if you want to help this project go and there's something that you want to see that I'm not doing, leave a comment down in the description box below. So if you want to be a part of my Patreon, you can sign up down below, and it's just a small reoccurring monthly fee that you can afford, whether it be $2, $5, 10 dollars 20 50 100 whatever it is. We'll put that towards the Dale build. So guys, thank you so much for following this build on my channel. Tell all your friends, share it with all your groups, and stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next Dale video.